All right, guys. Uh, welcome to the Junior Bodybuilding Series. I think this is episode five. Yeah. Is it episode five? Episode oh, yeah, five. Flying there. Right. Yeah. So we're nearly at two thousand subscribers now, which is pretty cool considering it's only just started. Um, this is the first episode without the fit dog, so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be strange for me uh, training about fitzy. I've only done one leg session yesterday without him since he's gone back to uh, Plymouth now, back to uni. Um, I, I, I was just saying to Sally now, I, I've never been one to have a training partner or rely on a training partner. I've always trained on my own and I've preferred doing it like that. Um, but since training with him through lockdown, because he was out when I drew up the gym, um, so we were training together every day. He's just, for the last six months probably, every single session I've had has been with him. And I'm so used to having someone to bounce off now, someone that I don't even have to talk to before a set to tell them what I want from it. Um, and they just come in when I want, you know, exactly what I want, how much to give. It's like, it's, it takes, so long to go through with someone if they're completely fresh um, and I just don't want that hassle with anyone um, so there's only a select few that I'll probably end up training with now going forward um, because I'm just one of those people I just can't you can see with my training is so specific like I don't I don't want to just jump in with anyone I can't do that like I'm not that type of person um, so yeah as much as I love training um, uh, when I'm training it has to be all about you know, I'm focusing all about me. That, that sounds selfish saying out loud, but that's that's what it's all about. And if you have someone with you that knows what they want and you can just help them then and bounce off each other, then that's that's when it works perfectly. If you're having to try and, you know, hold someone's hand through training um, or they're asking too much or something like that, I'd rather just um, either do a full-on personal training session and just coach them um, or I just won't train with them. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, anyway... Um, Today we got push, the second rotation of push, so I've got two different rotations because um, they're so frequent at the moment. Today I'll be absolutely fine on my own apart from the four reps I might miss out on um, because it's majority machine work. So we've got the hammer strength incline as the big compound following by a pin loaded uh, conversion press uh, which I'm looking to progress both of these on. The hammer strength could be pretty cool, um, might be able to get a top set with six plates depending on how it moves. Last week was five and a half plates and I managed to get Let's see how many I got now, because if it was decent, um, I'll have to check the Instagram, I haven't noted it down. I got a back off with 5 plates for 11.5 anyway, so I think the top set was something like 7 or 8. So, anyway, enough talking, um, I'll give you an update on where I'm at with stats. Um, I think it's been 5 weeks, I think since we, since we started this, we started this series from the push up. Um, so my body weight started at 91.8 kilos which was a depleted version of myself, so I was expecting a big rebound anyway, a lot of water weight, a lot of glycogen, all going back in straight away, um, which bumped me up to about 95 in the first week and then gradually increased now, and now I sat this morning at my heaviest in the morning weight um, of 103.1 kilo, um, so it's quite a big increase there. All time highest is 110, and it was quite a sloppy 110, 110 kilo. This off season we could be looking at with the rate we're gaining and the way condition is holding very well we could be looking at 115 possibly 120 which would be freaky um so yeah that would put us in a really really good spot not only in terms of body weight and composition but in terms of the amount of intake calorie intake i'd be at to be holding that body weight so it would be ideal for prep then to just transition and have a really, really, really good prep um, for the competitive season, which we're going to be doing a lot of comps towards the end of 2021, which this is all about. Um, so yeah, I'll be able to talk to you a bit more this session. It's the first session where it's just me and you. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to give you a little bit more tips throughout. Um, we'll see how it goes and we'll, I, I'll, if, if not, if it's not as entertaining to watch, we'll be bringing other people in to train with me, um, a few of the boys and, and see how that goes. And, yeah, so let's just go. First exercise, um, we're doing crucifix, cuffed, cuffed crucifix laterals. There's always a fucking big truck going past. Always. Isn't it? Every time I try to talk. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so cuffs, um, I think we've got the Josh Bridgman cuffs. Everyone's been raving about these lately. They are really good and comfy, to be fair. Um, I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and promote none because everyone's doing that anyway. <laughs> but they are great. Um, so yeah, we're doing the, the cuffs to pre exhaust the delts. It's a push session. Um, as much as I love a bro split, this has been working great for me. So currently on push and arms, because we need to bring those up. So we're doing push and arms, um, two days on, one day off. Push and arms, um, then followed by legs, and then rest, and then push and arms, 
which is a different rotation, and then pull. So pull is basically back day with a deadlift or a row variation, so it depends. Um, but yeah, you, you'll learn a lot about that and I'll talk about that as we go forward. But this is just pre-exhaust, um, so I work up, um, I literally do a priming set, probably a full-on progressive set, I think. No, it's a priming set, which I talked about in the last video, so check that out. I'm not going to explain every video. So a priming set, top set, back off set, and then we straight down onto the big press. Say that it feels right. Saying earlier, he was like, oh, if you're on your own now, you're gonna have to make both noises. <laughs> so I'll be like talking to myself, I'll be like supporting yourself. Like, yeah, 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 my bar, my bar. Yeah, go on, so one more. Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> you're gonna have to argue with yourself after yeah, it. No, no, if you were there, not. Don't touch a bar. As I'm doing warm ups now, we were just talking and just ch chatting with Sunny anyway, and saying like my motivation for getting into bodybuilding, and, and I still wouldn't call myself a bodybuilder, I do this because I love training. and. Um, yeah, it's, it's bizarre because the, the stereotypical bodybuilder, you know, bullied at school uh, or really not happy with the way they look, want to change it because they want to look good. This has never been um, my reasons or motivation behind doing this. This is literally getting on stage and everything like that is a byproduct of what I love doing. The lifestyle is what I love doing, you know. The, as far as I'm concerned, no, I'm not making any sacrifices because I'm doing exactly what I want to do from the moment I wake up being regimented, um, doing everything for the business, being, you know, so um, that I don't have to think about anything. Everything's got a time that needs to be done. Uh, everything's got a structure throughout the day. I train at this time. I eat my meals in prepare, pre preparation for the training and my post-workout is all in preparation to relax and, and grow. <laughs> and it sounds so sad. Like, well, it doesn't sound sad to me, but for the normal person it sounds sad, but it's exactly what I want to be doing. And, um, that's why, that's why I'm just really happy because it's, it's great. I wonder if we can fit them. Sound. What's harder, back off set or the top set? Fucking hard in both ways, like, yeah, they're both completely different. Back off is like, it's, it's more up there, I think, is um, how, how much, it's not so much, you can break down anytime you want to, you can stop anytime you want to, you can make yourself accept it, do you know what I mean? It gets to a point where like, the easiest way to explain it is with a deadlift. If you want to, you know, you can leave that bar rule a little bit in front of you when you initiate the pull and you won't be able to move it off the floor. 
so there's little tap outs that you can do it yourself and so that you can accept it and be like oh yeah I failed we didn't if you, it's, it's how much you're willing to keep the focus um, and intensity high to keep nailing the technique because if you keep the technique on, on spot on you'll be able to keep pulling keep going until it's your muscles that break down and they cannot lift that weight anymore um, but it's a mental game it's, it's how much you're willing to do it for because um, it's so taxing when you when you're doing a bag of set of like 15 to 20 reps with a deadlift of like 220 kilos that's that's when <laughs> it's like the set you've seen on last episode the 220 like it was I think I got 13 dead stop you know I think a few of those before I was kind of accepting it like the 11th rep and stuff I was like purposely making it harder so that it was like I was accepting I was going to fail and then I was like no 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 let's keep going let's keep going a lot goes through your head during that moment oh my god yeah yeah and this is what people don't realise this is why I want to do this series to like talk to people so they understand what they need to be doing in a session because there's so much to every single set it's, it's like I can't explain it it's like it sounds like I'm off my bloody, it sounds like I'm off my tits talking about this now um, as if my head's gone but the more you go into training and look into training first of all when you first start bodybuilding it's like oh how do I grow? Oh, four sets of eight, eight to twelve rep ranges hypertrophy yeah? the more you delve deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into that the more you open up <laughs> and it's like it keeps going and I have no doubt like I'm what seven eight years into this now that by the time I'm 20 years into it I'll be looking back on now thinking fuck I know nothing do you know what I mean? Because um, year after year, there's so much more that you're opening up as you experience it yourself. And I think you have to experience it um, to understand it. So, yeah. Big Keith, shout out again. He brought the belt down for us <laughs> to add some weight for, for Keith as well. I've mentioned him twice now. So, I put a photo of him here um, and put his Instagram as well. Because we're going to be working together, me and Keith. Now, I'm going to be programming him. Uh, he wants to get into powerlifting, even though he's a very experienced bodybuilder, far more experienced than me. Competed against Flex Lewis and Luke Sando. Uh, hell of a nice guy. So, excited to start programming him because he reckons he can take the Welsh record bench press. And I totally believe him 100%. He can definitely do it if he puts his mind to it. If he stops maxing out every week. Uh, but he's a really strong lad. Like, so, it's going to be exciting. If you want to follow him, follow his prep. Um, that's going to be pretty cool to watch. Today, I'll be absolutely fine on my own. Yeah. With a giant cock. Hmm? That's what it feels like. <laughs> right. idea and maybe for next week episode six if you have made it this far in the video already uh, possibly may do a Q&A um, at the end of next week's uh, session so um, yeah if you've got any questions comment them below and um, yeah we might answer them then hmm, dependent <laughs> depending on what questions they are and <laughs> not naughty questions <laughs> Fucking walking one. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna go by.
absolutely fine on my own. Right, so the one, one major change um, I've made to some of the movements that I can do it on, that it's possible on, is when I normally have Fitzy or a training partner with me, um, to push me through the concentric. Once the concentric phase, which is the strongest phase of contraction, fails, which is always going to fail first, sorry, it's the weakest phase of contraction. So for example, with the tricep rope extensions now, as they extend, that's the weakest phase of contraction, yeah? Um, so that's going to fail first. The eccentric, when I'm coming back up slowly, um, is going to be the strongest. So what will happen is, that will fail first. I won't be able to fully lock out, that's what will happen. So I'll be able to get it down to about there and it'll be stuck. So I'm going to be using momentum, right, um, to carry me through that phase, to contract hard, and then slowly lower back down on the eccentric until I literally can no longer handle the weight at all. Um, and that's when I'll chuck it back. So I'm trying to take the triceps to complete failure in every phase of contraction every time. Um, as I am with every single set, that is the goal, complete muscular failure. Sometimes it's only possible with a training partner, but with things like this you can modify it. Whereas, if you're looking at it from the outside, you might think, what the hell is he doing towards the end of a set? Like, um, that's shit form. But, um, if you realise what you're doing, it's, it's got a lot, there's a method to the madness, and that's, that's, that's what it is, so, yeah. So that's the session done now. That session, like a lot of machine work, is the second rotation of push. So it's, it's a little bit less exciting because it's all machines. You know, we like throwing about free weights. That's what we like to see. Um, but at the end of the day, this series is about showing you everything that's, that's putting together. So although this might not be as exciting to watch, I hope there's a few things that you learned throughout the video. Um, and let me know in the comments what you want to see, especially to do with that Q&A. Um, any questions and that, I'll get them answered in the next episode. Um, so thank you. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, uh, and I'll see you soon. Make sure you check out the member site if you want any informative videos. Um, this series is just going to be on YouTube and the member site, but um, for, for all the informative short videos, we've got loads on nutrition, supplements, training, anything like that. That's all on the member site. Um, so yeah, check that out, www.teampowerbuilding.com. So yeah, I'll see you soon.